to the citizen to hope you're all staying safe and well on our final final world cup update there will be another back home to come but uh, yes this is going to cover saturday and sunday Yes, the 17th and 18th of December. Uh, we're talking a third and fourth playoff, which we'll uh, try and get through as quick as we can, and a World Cup final, just to talk about it. the World Cup Qatar 2022, with a sky blue Argentina number nine playing in the World Cup final. I think last time we had a, a player, well, he was in the squad, David Silva, wasn't he? He wasn't actually part of the winning team on the day, but he, he was in the squad, of course. So uh, a little bit of history-making Potential for our number nine, uh, Argentina's number nine. Obviously, it's not our number nine, but uh, hey, only because some other guy got in first. Right, please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification. It's great to have you on board. And if you're pushing buttons or not pushing buttons, push that other button that says uh, like or a thumbs up. That'd be great. Make an old city fan very, very happy. Right, yes, please check out my back home features. As I said, there will be another one coming out, which looks at Alvarez and talks about all, summarises all the players coming back for the World Cup, all 16 City players. Right, first a quick look at the third and fourth place playoff, Croatia versus Morocco at the Khalifa International Stadium. That was a 3pm kickoff on Saturday the 17th. I managed to, to watch most of that. I saw a lot on the way back from the CFA game with Girona. City game with Girona and I managed to... So, I'm giving it about five minutes, so I got an okay view of it anyway. A 2-1 win for Croatia. All the goals coming in the first half. Seven minutes of nicely worked free kick by Croatia ended with the latest hottest hottest thing since chili sauce. Uh, Guardiol scored with a diving header, but two minutes later, on nine minutes, this time the greatest thing since sliced bread. Guardiol gives away a three kick, and no, not the greatest kick. Danny sneaks in and heads home from close range, and the def- decisive goal it turned out came just before half time, on forty two minutes as Osic curls a shot in off the post. For what would then, uh, not knowingly then, but what would be the winning goal? Marco had a couple of late, late chances to take this to extra time, but it wasn't to be. And uh, they're a little bit unhappy at the end, weren't they? I, don't, I think they're unhappy with the officiating. But you know, just, just, just lose gracefully, guys. It's, uh, it's not the world. It wasn't the World Cup final, was it? Anyway, well done Morocco and uh, well done Croatia for finishing third, which I've never understood the third or fourth playoff, but it's there. It's, it's a competition. It's to get money from TV, I suppose. So there you go. Right, on to the World Cup final. France versus Argentina, 3pm the day later, 18th of December at the Lucille Stadium. Of course, Alvarez starts in this and ex-Blue Otamendi with his 100th game. Yes, and we've been saying how well Otamendi's playing, but we we always know uh, old Otters have got a mistake or two in him, and uh, it did sort of happen in this game, didn't it? But hey, he got away with it, didn't he? The first 15 minutes, Argentina dominate without without uh, any real French French sort of uh, effort, although I must admit it was sort of late in the game before we did see something from France. France were very sluggish uh, originally. And 21 minutes, clumsy from Dembele. A minimal contract takes uh, old Di Maria down. He, he, like, he likes to fall, doesn't he? Not a clear and obvious error for VAR to get involved, but soft and silly. And yeah, once the referees give it, I don't think there's any uh, complaints about that. Uh, great pen by Messi. It's 1-0 which means after not scoring in any World Cup finals, he's now become the first guy to score in round 16, the quarterfinals, the semi-final and the final. There you go, not been done before. 36 minutes, a great team goal finished off well by Di Maria this time. Yeah, he didn't fall over with a neat Alvarez touch and a 1-2 with Messi, uh, who assisted in the build-up. Giroud, yeah, the old uh, Deschamps, was it? The manager didn't mess about. Giroud and Dembele came off just before half-time. Very odd, but hey, it sort of worked eventually. Uh, so obviously it didn't initially work. At half-time, it was still 2-0 to Argentina. Can France do anything? Well, they need to do better in the second half. Their XG, my thanks to at, at XG philosophy, for the first half was 0.00. That's just how bad they were, isn't it? Doesn't, doesn't detract from what we'll have to say it. France were awful. And finally, finally, on 65 minutes, France finally started to create, and Argentina didn't look totally comfortable when he came under a bit of pressure. We know that the back's not great, uh, but Argentina remained a more serious threat on, on little breakaways that they got. And on 79 minutes, finally, it had to happen, didn't it? Old Otters uh, sort of dived in a little bit, then get left, get got left behind uh, and then gave away a penalty. Yeah, so all his good work in all the other games he's played and what, I was thinking what a great World Cup he's having. 
we'll talk about him a bit more when we do the Alvarez back home uh, feature. But uh, yeah, so it's a penalty, a penalty for France and Mbappe from not doing that much or not getting in that involved that much puts France back in the game and it's 2-1. And we didn't have to wait long, did it? On 82 minutes, it's unbelievably 2-2. Mbappe blasts home a superbly worked goal after Messi lost the ball on the halfway line. And that's it, plus eight minutes injury time, and it ended in normal time, 2-2. The XG, uh, my thanks to XG philosophy again for 90 minutes, a little bit better for France. That was uh, They took it up to 1.16, well done. And Argentina was 2.02. Yes, we lost Alvarez, and uh, he wasn't taken off because he was poor, I don't think. I think he had a good game. I think he had a fair game. We'll talk about him as well in the back home. But, uh, yeah, I think he'd put that much effort. You know, obviously, we, we, we sort of tend to forget how hot it is over there. I think all the effort he'd put in. In, in normal time, plus 30 minutes uh, extra time. It's just, just a time for him to have an exit and fresh legs. Another fine game, I thought, from Alvarez. And so close for Argentina in the final minute, the first half of extra time, as they spark back into life and go close a couple of times. But... But it took to the 109th minute when Messi scored his second and it's 3-2. He pounced, pounced on the ball after a Lloris save. Of course, it was clear, looked to be cleared off the line, but it was a good two or three feet over. Uh, that was after a nice little one-touch build-up by Argentina. And it probably you think at that stage, they'll probably hang on now. I think they made a tactical switch. I think a, a centre-half game on to try and tighten things up. But 117 minutes, a high arm on a block and it's a penalty for France. And again, Mbappe makes no mistake, a World Cup hat-trick. There you go, well done, Mr Mbappe. I've never been his biggest fan, but I thought he played very well today. I've got to doff my cap for old Mr Mbappe today. Very good. Uh, but I didn't certainly see... I don't think any of us saw a World Cup hat-trick for Mbappe after 78 minutes, to be let's be honest about it. 120 minutes, yeah, both teams had a great chance to finish it off in the 120th minute. First France almost, and then Argentina, but it ended 3-3. The XG philosophy at full time as we prepared for penalties. XG at XG philosophy, my thanks to them again. 120 minutes, and throughout this World Cup, 120 minutes. Argentina 3.57 and France 2.33. So there you go for almost 80 minutes, Argentina was so much better, but that doesn't matter in football, does it? Doesn't matter how good you are. You know, if you're not if you're not out of sight, there's always a possibility. But uh, all credit to France for finding that little bit extra. Unfortunately, they lost the toss of penalty, so they had to take the penalties at the end where all the Argentinian fans or most of the Argentinian fans were masked, which uh, is never good. And of course, when it gets to penalties, it is anybody's. Uh, if you'd asked me before, I would say perhaps France were a bit more on the ascendancy in extra time, but uh, it didn't count for much, did it? Uh, they only needed to take four penalties. Argentina scored every single one of them. Fantastic stuff. And of course, uh, France, uh, Argentina had their goalkeeper, of course, that we know well uh, to, to thank. He made a couple of saves. He saved one and one. So he sighted the guy out. He ended up getting booked for throwing the ball away and, and messing about, but that's what he does. That's, that's his style. So it ended on penalties. Uh, Argentina for France too, and that's it. Then uh, Saudi Arabia are the world champions. Oh, hang on, no, that's, that's not how it works, is it? Uh, it could do, couldn't it? I mean, I must admit when I watched that, I, 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 if you got, you can go back to my game, but I did say at the time uh, I was quite impressed with Argentina, and that that was just a, a fluke. Uh, defeat by Saudi Arabia. So, but uh, yeah, it was uh, only for Alvarez. I'm I'm happy. I'm still I'm still hurt from '86, of course, with Argentina and other things. So, but just for Alvarez and Otamendi, I'm happy that they did win it. And that's it. Uh, Argentina, yeah, Argentina, not Saudi Arabia, the world champions. Thanks for watching, guys. Please check out my little back home features. And, of course, yes, City are back. City are back. Hello, don't forget. And we're back to our wonderful club. Please check out my report on the uh, City 2-0 win over Girona at the CFA. Uh, check out that. And, of course, coming up this week, we've got the preview of the Carabao Cup Round 4. Uh, against a certain team from down the East Lanks, Liverpool. So there will be an odd show and a preview show. And as I said, uh, there will be uh, on the Monday, I think it will come out, a special back home feature on Alvarez, our World Cup winner. Otamendi, our ex, but still a World Cup winner. And of course, we'll look back, uh, just a summary of all 16 players that are now 
Uh, well, Alvarez will be soon uh, flying back uh, to us. Don't know when he'll play, mind you, but uh, we'll see. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed the World Cup reports. Uh, perhaps not as watched as my City stuff, but I enjoyed doing them. And I hope if you stuck with me, enjoyed them as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm back. We're back to City Bay now, aren't we? Yes, until we meet again, please stay safe, everyone. Stay safe, particularly you, Blues. And come on, City. Bye for now.